I am back again already. I know, I know. Um, I honestly didn't expect to be filming this already. And originally when I ordered this palette, I wasn't going to do it, but I was like, it's come so fast. My Jade one is doing kind of well for me. So, Mama Mitchell's um, Have You Got Milk palette has arrived today. So I was like, you know, surely have to do it. It, it, it's, I have one other Mitchell palette, which is the Feet in the Ground, which I really, really love. The only issue I have with it is the background of it. I think everyone says it is a bit distracting, but I do really, really love this formula of the Feet in the Ground one. So hopefully this one is just as good. Um, I will say it looks better in person, the color story. Because when I saw it online, I was like, it's nice. I want to get it, but I don't know how well it'll work together. And then I saw the color story and I was like, oh my lord. In person it looks so, so, so much better. Um, so I don't know what that's saying, but yeah. Um, so we're just going to get straight into it. Toe Beans. It's a peachy shade just to set my lid. So I don't even know, I haven't looked at it properly, properly to figure out what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to go on the grey sides because I love, I love grey. I love grey, but we're going to add colour to the grey. So we're going to start off with Blinks. With a nice small brush. Now I'm going to dip into Sugar Puff, the orange shade here, to just blend out that grey. Now. I wish there was a darker grey black colour in this palette because there's not. There is this shimmer, but I don't want that for that or corner relay. But we're gonna try it because don't got no nothing else. Does that even make sense? I don't even I don't don't know how to talk. But this shade that I'm going to now is literally one of the shades that really called my name when I was looking at the palette. I love grey shadows, I do. Now we're going to go into Licky Licky, which is a beautiful, beautiful pink with yellow gold kind of glitters in it. Now I'm going to go back into this orange and bring that underneath my water. Under, uh, I'm, I'm going to dip into the orange again now and go underneath my eye with it. Finally, 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 we're going to go into this matte yellow for the inner corner and try and like, get a little pop of yellow right in there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of mascara, a little liner, and I'll be back in just two seconds. So this is the final look. I just added a bit of liner and then obviously mascara. Um, This was not my intention, but I actually really enjoy it. It's kind of like, in my head, I'm like volcano lava, kind of fiery. Do you know what I mean? Got the greys, got the darks, got the then the fiery reds and oranges and yellows. Um, it. I will say this. In my opinion, it looks better in person than it does on camera. Straight away, I'm comparing it to the J palette I used yesterday, because I've used it again since then. Um, and because this is more expensive than the Jade one, I don't know if it's worth. It mo Does that make sense? Like, use it once. I've only used it once. I cannot say, do this, do that, whatever. But what I did use was good. I will not say it, but it, would, it was definitely good. But that red shade, uh, Licky Licky, beautiful on. Like, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But very, very crumbly and very, very... There's a lot of fallout with it. So, again, which I'm not a fan of doing... Out of drag, in drag I don't mind, but I don't usually do my eyes first out of drag. I usually get my whole face done and then add a bit onto the eyes. But yeah, um, the colours didn't quite pack as much of a punch as I thought they would. Unless you really, really went in on the pen. Does that make sense? Like you can get the colour intensity there if you really, really want it. But you really have to like dig in instead of just like... Like yesterday, I followed a Jade one, I tapped it like twice, and it was beautiful colours compared to this one. 
just the colours I use, the greys, the orange and the yellow, matte shades, there's a lot of like, kind of like, okay, come on. But on another note, that could be really handy for me, who's someone who's really heavy handed in general eyeshadow. I've already got better, but maybe something like this would have been good first palette for me, because since I was so heavy handed, it meant I'd have to do even more to get up to that standard, instead of like dipping in load and then going in once. And then having full, do you know what I mean? Um, do I regret buying this palette? Absolutely not. It looks stunning. The look I've done with it so far today is great. Mm. Like a little thumbnail. I'm very excited to use it. I, I can't wait to use the nudes. I will be doing a one week one palette with it, but it won't be up probably for like two, three weeks because there's kind of a backlog now. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful palette. Very happy with us. Can't wait to use it again. Will 100% using again. Do not regret buying it at all. It is just a little bit more difficult to use than the J palette. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.